welcome to the Radical Success Podcast, where we focus on internal transformation to experience external results. I'm your host and coach, Doreen Rainey. Join me each week for insightful messages and powerful interviews to equip you to take bold, courageous, and radical action to live the life you want and deserve. Welcome to another episode of the Radical Success Podcast. I am Doreen Rainey and am always excited and thrilled to come to you once again with some tools and strategies and insights to help you experience radical success in every area of your life. And I am committed to helping you understand that the power in achieving the goals that you've set lies within having an internal transformation, something happening to you on the inside that dictates what shows up for your life on the outside. And what I love most about the work that I do is that I get to challenge people through my coaching, through speaking, even through this podcast, I get the opportunity to have you rethink some of the ideas that you have, some of the perspectives that you have. I get to challenge you to reevaluate your beliefs, your goals, how you're spending your time, how you're going about your daily activities. Are you moving closer to the goals and dreams that you have? Or are you more stagnant, hoping that one day things will turn around? And through my coaching, through speaking, even through the feedback I get through this podcast, I get those kudos. I get those, man, Doreen, what you said touched me. Oh my goodness, Doreen, what you said, man, it shifted everything for me. It's changed me. What a new way of thinking. What a new way of looking at things. And yes, I love to hear those things. Who wouldn't? But I'm more concerned about what happens after our encounter ends. And that's what I want to talk to you about today is the myth of the aha moment. Now, before I jump into today's content, I want to take a moment and just express my excitement for those of you who have already said yes to joining me September 14th through 16th in the DC area for my Radical Success Intensive. This is an opportunity where if you have been someone who needs to move from asking the question, how do I do X, Y, and Z? How do I accomplish my particular goals? And you really need to answer the question, why haven't I done X, Y, and Z, then this is the intensive for you. We are going to be spending two and a half days together, truly breaking down who you are, why you are, what information do you have that will allow you to achieve your goals, and why haven't you implemented? Why haven't you taken action? Why haven't you been consistent? So if you've been challenged with procrastination, with fear, with doubt, with the lack of belief, with thinking that you don't have enough time, there's too much going on, life is getting in the way. I want to create a powerful environment for you to shift so that you can experience the true life and lifestyle that you not only want, but you deserve. And so if that sounds like you, you can get all the information about the upcoming event at RadicalSuccessIntensive.com. And if you have been to any of my um, Get Radical conferences, then you're in for something a little bit different. My conferences, you know, there are five, 600 people in the room, um, multiple speakers, all kinds of breakout sessions. This is a very different experience on purpose. This is going to be a much more intimate group so that we can truly connect and truly have an experience where you can personalize what's happening in your life what needs to shift in terms of your behaviors, your habits, and your thoughts, and we can create that powerful action plan together. And so I would love to see you there in September. 
You can go over to RadicalSuccessIntensive.com. We do have a great incentive and discount for those of you who want to take advantage of early registration. So hop on over and I hope to see you in September. So now let's talk about the myth of the aha moment. And if you have been someone that's been involved in personal development, personal growth, self-help, if you have been a reader, a seminar attendee, um, if you are listening to podcasts that are insightful and focused on success, then I know that you have had some aha moments. But I want to talk to you about what happens after that. Are you truly moving beyond the aha moment and experiencing a true breakthrough and an authentic transformation? And I want to walk you through the four stages of a real breakthrough, a real transformation, because if you aren't experiencing the results of the knowledge that you've gained, then you may be missing one of these four steps. And so let's get started. Let's break this down for you. So the first step in a true transformation, in a real breakthrough, is actually having the aha moment. Now, there are great things about an aha moment, and there are some challenging things about an aha moment. So the great thing about experiencing an aha moment is that you've just had a profound, potentially life altering revelation. You have discovered something that now has the ability to change the trajectory of your life forever. Maybe you hear something around responsibility and it hits you that you are not a victim in life, but you have the power to chart your own success. And you're like, wow, oh my gosh, I am capable. I am smart. I can do this. What a discovery. Or maybe you finally understood that other people's opinion of what you want, of what you do, of how you do it, it doesn't matter. That if you are tuned in to your gift, your talent, if you believe that you've discovered your purpose and you know what path you are destined to take, then oh my goodness, it does not matter what they say, whoever they are. I know that I know that I know that this is what I'm called to do and this is what I'm going to do it. And this is what I'm going to do. Oh my goodness, what an aha moment. Or maybe. It hits you. You're reading a book, you're listening to a speaker, you're inside of a coaching session, and it occurs to you that discipline is the key to getting where you want to be and that you haven't given discipline enough honor, enough attention, and enough credit for being the missing link to move you from where you are to where you want to go. And man, oh man, are you pumped. Have you ever finished reading a book and been like, oh my gosh, this is it. It's on now. Have you ever left the conference or a workshop or heard a speaker and you were so fired up that you just knew that this was the moment that everything was going to change for you? Well, guess what? That's the great side of the aha moment. Now let's talk about the other side of the aha moment. Well, guess what? It's in the name. Aha moment. (laughs) moment. That means that all of the excitement, adrenaline, profound revelations, discoveries that you've just had were only designed to last a moment. And if you look back to some times that you've had those aha moments and you look at what happened the next day or the next week, or the next month, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. When that excitement fades, when that level of motivation that you experienced fades away, when that inspired adrenaline was pumping through your veins, and then it faded away, you've just fallen prey to the aha moment. 
And that's why a true breakthrough, a true transformation does not end at the aha moment. There are other stages that you must go through to experience what you want. And so stage one of this transformation is the aha moment. Believe me, you have to have it in order to move to the next steps. Without the aha moment, there's no incentive to change. There's no new perspective that starts to move you in a different direction. There's no new perspective that encourages you to change your thoughts, to change your behaviors, to change your habits. But now that you've had the aha moment, what comes next? Well, the next step is what I like to call the head knowledge phase, the head knowledge phase. This is when after having an aha moment, you have to go into student mode. You have to go into learning mode. You've had this great revelation. I'm not a victim. I can be responsible for my own success. So that means I'm going to start a business. I'm going to set boundaries with my family, with my friends. I'm going to talk to my boss about career advancement, promotion opportunities. I'm going to find out about going to back to school, getting my degree. I'm going to take better care of my health and and my wellness. And I'm going to learn what it takes to do all of this. So after the aha moment, you must gain some head knowledge, the literal steps you need to take to implement the revelation that you just had. That means it's going to require you to set aside time to read, to study, to talk to people. It's going to require additional time to find out what are the steps I need to take to actually make this happen. And I will tell you, this is where it falls apart for some people, because this takes focused, intentional, committed time. What are you reading that is teaching you how to do what you want to do? Who are you talking to that has already accomplished what you want, who can give you some insights, who can share their experiences, who can move you around some of the pitfalls and mistakes that they have made so that you don't have to experience it. And you're taking all of this information and you are putting a plan in place. You are now looking at how you are using your time and does it line up with the goals that you've set from having that aha moment. And when you're in this stage of head knowledge, you begin to do the things that you need to do, but you may not see the immediate results. How many of you know what I'm talking about? You decide, you have an aha moment. Being healthy should be a top priority. I need to be able to move around, get around, lose weight, eat better. And you go out there and you get that head knowledge working. And you start looking at what foods you should eat. How should you work out? Should you get a trainer? Should you join a boot camp? Are you going to do a meal delivery service? You start looking at all this data, all this information, and you take it all in and you begin to put your plan in place. I'm going to meal prep on Sundays, and then I'm going to take my lunch all week. I'm going to make sure I go to the gym before I go to work. I'm going to join this boot camp and I'm going to show up every day the boot camp is on. You're putting these plans in place. I'm going to start my business. So I'm going to every day set aside two hours to work on my marketing, to work on my sales, to develop my product, to think about the pricing for my services. And you schedule this time out. But then because it's just head knowledge, sometimes we fade out. (laughs) We fade out. We start off strong. Can't nobody tell us nothing. We are in it to win it. And maybe you don't see progress fast enough. Maybe getting up early to study, to read, to work out makes you too tired in the evenings. Maybe putting in extra time at the office because you want a promotion. So you you put in some extra hours, you volunteer for some projects, you start taking on things that you're not necessarily being paid for. But man. It's been a week. Ain't nothing happening. It's been a month. Nothing's changing. And so slowly but surely, 
you revert back to some old habits. You revert back to some old behaviors and you start to doubt whether the breakthrough you had, the aha moment you had was really for you or you start to rationalize the aha moment you had and you start to justify your lack of staying consistent, your lack of staying focused. Well, there's a lot going on with my family right now. Well, I really should be focused on something else and not what I originally wanted. We start rationalizing our behaviors. And at this stage, one of two things happen. You either abandon your activities and you wait for another aha moment. You wait until you hear another speaker that pumps you up. You wait until you go to another conference or seminar or workshop that gets you all fired up again about possibility, about what you can accomplish, about what's available to you. You wait to have another conversation with someone who is motivated and inspired and gets you thinking again how you can change your life, how you can get where you want to be, how your wealth and abundance is available to you. But guess what? You've now gone back to step one, the aha moment. And now we've got to start all over again. And I will tell you, I have met many people who stay in this cycle. I'm telling you, I've seen it over and over and over again. I used to do um, annual conferences. I've had long-term coaching program clients. I run into people that I have spoken to at events And I run into people who have been a part of other people's events that I've spoken at and that I've connected with them there. And you know what? They tell me that I motivated them. I inspired them when they heard me, when they saw me, when they interacted with me three months ago, six months ago, a year ago. And guess what? They still have not experienced the results of that aha moment they had when we had our first encounter. And why is that? Because they keep bouncing between stage one and stage two. They keep going back and forth. I had an aha moment. I was excited. I put a plan together. I learned how to do it. I knew what steps I needed to take. And then the results didn't come fast enough. Or I listened to other people telling me that I was wasting my time or that it wasn't possible or that it wasn't my time. And I started falling off. That's why you have to fight. You have to fight for your success. You have to fight against the doubt, the fear, the naysayers. You have to fight against your own self-talk that tells you maybe this isn't for you, that tells you, well, who do you think you are to have this business, to have this position in your company, to have this amount of money, to have this type of marriage? to have this level of wealth and fitness and abundance in all areas of your life. Who are you to have that? And so this podcast is really designed to help move you past stage one and stage two, that aha moment and that head knowledge so that you can move into step three. You have to move from head knowledge to heart belief. Head knowledge says, this is what I need to do to achieve my goals. These are the steps I need to take. These are the actions I need to do. And by taking these steps, doing these actions, it will result in me experiencing a thriving business, a promotion, a degree, a healthy relationship, losing weight. But that's head knowledge. And when you are in head knowledge, you can get sidetracked. But when you move to heart and soul belief, that means that you know without a shadow of a doubt that what you have set your sights on already belongs to you, that you deserve this, that you were created for this, that you were built for this, and there is no amount of fear, doubt, naysayers, life situations, circumstances, there is nothing that can move you from this belief. And in order to get to this space, 
you have to not only do the head knowledge, you have to do the soul searching. And soul searching is about building yourself up from the inside out. It's about what do you say when you talk to yourself? Do you say, this is hard. I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I deserve this. I don't know anyone who's ever had a successful business. I haven't had any example of a successful marriage. Mama and them has said, I'm not good enough. I'm not pretty enough. I'm not smart enough. Who am I to think I can do this? Or is it time to change the language you use when you talk to yourself? I am smart. I am deserving. I got this. I am disciplined. I can move through the challenging days. I can stay on track. I can be intentional. I am focused because this is critical to being able to have a true breakthrough. And I know it sounds corny. It sounds a little woo woo to talk about the concept of affirmations, to talk about building yourself up from the inside out, to say that this piece of the process is more important than any other piece. I know that can be challenging to take in, that it can seem a little out there. But I will tell you, in my experience, in my research, and working with thousands of clients, and speaking at so many events, and running into people over and over again, when I talk to people three months, a year, two years after they've had an aha moment, this is the differentiator. This step right here is the differentiator between those who are still talking the same goals. They still writing a book. They're still starting a business. They're still planning to go back to school. They're still complaining about their marriage, their relationships. They're still talking about losing those 20 pounds, 40 pounds, 60 pounds. It's the same conversation versus those who I talk to 90 days later, a year later, two years later, and they are kicking butt, it's because they've had a revelation in their heart and in their soul that this is a necessity. I cannot fail at this goal. I deserve it. People are waiting on it. And it's my gift to the world to live out and experience the goals and the vision that I set way back during that aha moment. And after you have the aha moment, after you take in the head knowledge and take action, and after you stay consistent because you've had a heart and soul belief about who you are and what you deserve, it's only then that you really have a true breakthrough, a true transformation. When you have a breakthrough, that means you actually shatter something, break, to move through it to experience something new and you cannot go back. When you have a breakthrough, you are unable to ever piece it back together and make it the way it was. And so if you look at what you've accomplished, how you've changed, how you've achieved some goals, you will know if it is a true breakthrough by the fact that you haven't gone back to your old ways, your old behaviors, your old habits. If you got out of debt and then a year later, two years later, five years later, you're back in debt when you said you would never be in debt again, guess what? you didn't have a true breakthrough around your money mindset. There was something in your heart and soul beliefs that could not sustain the aha moment about being debt-free that you had. Have you lost weight, got fit, got healthy, and then gained it back? Did you really have a breakthrough in that area? Or did you get caught up in head knowledge where you were just trying to do the activities, trying to do the plan, but never had a true heart and soul transformation about the value of your body and what you put into it? Head knowledge will get you results. Head knowledge is about taking a plan, 
putting it in action and doing the work. So head knowledge can get you results. You can reduce your debt. You can lose weight. You can start your business. You can make some money. You can get a promotion. But if you don't have a heart and soul belief about the life you deserve to live, then you are subject to stop those actions, to stop those plans and actually revert back to some of the habits and behaviors you had before that didn't serve you. And so I want to encourage you today to have a true breakthrough, to move from your aha moment, to take that head knowledge, the plan, the strategy, the process, the actions that you take, and have that head knowledge drop from your brain into your soul so that you know without a shadow of a doubt that not only do you absolutely deserve the goals and the vision that you have, but that you will not let anything or anybody get you off track, including yourself. So I hope that these stages of a breakthrough and the definition of a breakthrough has really allowed you to evaluate the goals that you have, the areas of your life that you want to improve on to see how you can move through these steps and these stages to actually get real permanent results. And again, if you want support in this, if you want someone to walk you through this process of being able to understand why, how, what you need to do to move and stay in action, I would love, love, love for you to join me for the Radical Success Intensive this coming September in the Washington, D.C. area. We are going to be taking a deep dive into all of these concepts and strategies that we've been talking about throughout this podcast. We're going to take a look at fear. We're going to take a look at our thoughts and beliefs. We're going to examine the stories that we tell ourselves and we're going to be able to break it down so that we can build back up our own personalized breakthrough. So I would love to see you there. You can go to RadicalSuccessIntensive.com to get more information and to register. And if this podcast has resonated with you, I would love to hear some of your biggest takeaways, some of the nuggets, the light bulb moments that really, really struck you. By all means, you can leave a comment. You can also tweet me out at Doreen Rainey. And you can also leave a review or rate us on Apple iTunes. So thank you so much again for tuning in. I look forward to our next podcast. And in the meantime, stay radical. Thanks for listening to the Radical Success Podcast. We would love to hear from you. Be sure to head over to iTunes and subscribe, rate, and leave a review. Until next time, stay radical. Stay radical.